today you have an epic car. The M3 name needs no introduction. It is a motorsport legend, but at the same time it is much loved off the track. And that's what I love about BMW. It's a brand that has a lot of tradition on the tracks, but at the same time it's very affordable when compared to a Ferrari or Lamborghini. But I have to confess one thing, please don't tell this to the M398, but my favorite version of the M3 isn't this one, it's the E30, what a car. One thing that bothers me is that now the M3 are the 4 door cars, while the M4 are the 2 door cars. Why BMW? It always makes me confused. Let's talk about Forza now. When I went to test this car for the first time, I hadn't played it for a while, so I wanted an easy car to start with. And this car surprised me a lot. It does have its quirks, but it is an extremely friendly car. It's a bit tricky to explain, but it's amazing how this one feels like it's always in your hand, even when accelerating and braking this car remains stable. It helped me a lot to make a series of very consistent laps. Not necessarily the fastest ones, but I was able to improve my times with each lap. After this first test, I had already realized that this car would be perfect for running races. In this type of race, I always prioritize the car's constancy, because if you make a mistake in one of the races, it is very difficult to recover. That's why the M3 is a perfect car for running races, it's an extremely easy car to drive. The best comparison I have for this car is another BMW, the 1M, which is also an extremely easy car to drive, and very reliable. The big difference is that the 1M is a little more agile, one tight circuit for example, with sequence of turns, the 1M will do better. However, if you haven't practiced a bit, it's easier to make a mistake with the 1M than the M3. But in the end, I believe the choice depends more on your driving style, as the two cars are very different in that respect.
Demi treats a car for to drive with all the calm, with his smooth driving. And the one name is faster, applying more corrections along its curve. So I prefer to use Demi Tree on tracks with more spaced corners. You can also use it on some tighter circuits, but in this case I think the one name is a better option. I recently made a list of what for me are the 5 best cars in the E-Class. And for me these 5 cars are more competitive than the M3. Maybe in a set of races you can even compete with these cars. But if a good drive pick up one of those cars, he'll have the advantage against you. In conclusion, the M3 is an extremely easy car to drive, and if you still have difficulty controlling the car when braking and on corner exits, you should definitely start with this car. Thank you.